name for the sake of the internet is Kobu Genkai. If uh, you are watching this, then we have some things we need to talk about, don't we? One of the things that I would like to talk about is my space, my metal side, my favorite candy, always have a packet of these on you, and why I am okay with being who I am. Now when I'm on Twitch, I'm very loud. I'm very up here all the time. And that's the way my Twitch wants me to be. That's the way my YouTube wants me to be, because people get joy out of hearing me be so loud and boisterous, I suppose. When I get tired, I want to sink back into my space, whether it be a little space, whether it just be a point of relaxation. Out comes what has affectionately been dubbed Blanky Mountain. Blanky Mountain is one of my favorite places to go when I'm not feeling too hot. <laughs> Sorry. As I'm recording this, it is currently 9.36 p.m. And so I'm a little bit shaken, a little bit tired. But this video is a direct uh, rip, I suppose of Ask Mommy from Little Baby Boo's Nursery, The Mop. I will have a link in the description. Over the past month or so, they've had something called Little Baby Boo's Summer Camp, which I thought was a wonderful idea. Arts and crafts, uh, playtime, stuffy time, a lot of things that people have uh, missed out on. And that's what Little Space is to me. It is not always diapers and pacifiers and screaming. Sometimes it's a Sour Patch Kid. And because I said it, I will be popping one. A nice blanky mountain. Can I show you? I'd like to show you some of my favorite blankets. This one here is one of my favorites that I've had ever since I was about four years old. It's fluffy on one side and roughly on, roughy on the other. This is one of my favorite blankets because, well, obviously it's very fluffy. 
you associate fluffy with warm and cuddling into said fluffy with comfort, protection. It's like a hug. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you will notice this blanket was wrapped around me in Dear Gatsby ASMR, where I fell deep into my little space, talking to an online daddy, who at the time of release of that video had all but disappeared from the internet. Now don't get me wrong, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes it's sadness and crying. But this blanket helped me get through that. Had it gone any worse, then we would have switched this blanket out. This blanket. which is at least seven feet long. Now this blanket here is older than me. This blanket here is about 43, 44 years old. So this has been with me, quote unquote, all my life. Lately, I've really been getting into these sorts of blankets. Two color blankets. This is one of two. And I will have to remake Blanky Mountain after tearing it apart. But that's okay. This is the other. <coughs> Black and silver. This is for... Well, this here is for when I'm feeling light. And this here... Let's see if I can fold it up right. Oh, there's a bed sheet in the way. <laughs> there's a bed sheet. It's not wet, I promise. So we can go to light. <laughs> or we can go dark. <laughs> I love this blanket. That there is a mountain of blankets. And it's probably one of my favorite places to go. So when you don't see me on the YouTube, on the Twitch, or on the Discord, you will see me. Well, no, you won't. But if you were looking for me, you would find me in Blanky Mountain. And it works for me. Over the past eight years, or even more than that, maybe even twelve, there's been memes going around about, you know, safe spaces. Now, obviously, I don't wear your traditional little space clothes. I do wear some 
oversized shirts. I have one hoodie. And I'll be right back. Whoops, you saw it. You saw the sleeve. <laughs> I have one hoodie that I absolutely love to wear when I'm in this space. <sighs> Sorry, another hoodie has come off the hook. There it is. The Hurley hoodie. <laughs> now why is it this hoodie makes me feel small? Look at the size of the sleeves. Look at how long these sleeves are. Now, I have a rather large wingspan, or at least I'd like to think so. But, well, <laughs> you see how long these sleeves are. That's not all they can stretch. Like, yeah, they stretch there. It's stretched up across my uh, my chest. But, when it comes down to it, this hoodie makes me feel safe. So this is a hoodie that I feel comfortable sleeping in. Now don't get me wrong, because when this hoodie comes off, and I get into that big kid mode. I will fight anything. And I do mean anything. Not for control, but because I can. See, but when I'm in this space, and uh, <clears throat> when I'm in this space, when I'm in my little space, I feel safe. I feel comfortable. And even if there's no one out here that can be seen on camera, that can be felt with a small rub on the shoulder, small pat on the chest, I'm still valid. Now off of that, my name is still Cobra Jankai. I am still a man, a myth, and an absolute legend. Because I believe that. In my regular adult life, I am Sherlock Diamond. I am a talk therapist. I am a Twitch streamer. I am Suicide Watch. <coughs> and before you understand, This space, the little space of me, understand what I go through out there. Understand the ridicule, understand the shame, understand the BS 
of it all. And maybe, just maybe, instead of Kovu, you can meet Coco. The middle space. The shy one. The scared one. The one with abandonment issues. I mean, that's adult me, but you put that on little me and little me's. I don't know. I guess anxious is the right word for that. Because at the end of the day, I am. I'm just an anxious little boy. I just never had the chance to experience real childhood, having had to learn three languages just to not even impress people, but just to get this one teacher off my back. Miss Maxwell? Yeah. Wherever you are, honestly, you're probably dead by this point, but it is what it is. I just wanted to introduce you, give you a little look at who I am behind the mask of Twitch streamer Kovu Jankai, behind the mask of talk therapist Shalako Diamond, behind that mask, it's just a little dude who wants to have fun. So you can judge me off of this video, that's cool, I don't mind that. I don't give a crap if you judge me off of that video. But just because you have the right to judge me, that doesn't give you the consensual right to judge others. Because behind this giant shirt, behind the wingspan, behind the hair, behind the facial hair, behind all of the bravado, is still a dude that can and will fight. No, no, it's not good for me to fight people, but some people out there, they just don't understand. They'll never understand. But hopefully, this video, <laughs> I pulled you too close. <laughs> Hopefully this video will let you understand just a little bit. I'm getting tired now. So I'm going to go to sleep. Mwah. Red word. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if I can do it. Kill Kaha, kill Maya, kill Mano Nui. Which means yellow words, be strong, be brave, be steadfast. Uncle Virginia, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.